Hey, we're Mac and Sarah, and we enjoy exploring the UK with our senior dog, Dozer, and so we're always on the lookout for dog-friendly things to do. In this video, we'll be showing you three great things that you can do with your pampered pooch near the historic city of Bath. We have come to Homewood Hotel and Spa, just outside of Bath, for a deliciously decadent treat. Homewood Hotel and Spa is nestled between the vibrant city of Bath and the charming village of Freshford, making it the perfect countryside retreat for a peaceful and elegant afternoon tea. The hotel is super dog friendly and won Best in Show at the 2021 Pets Pajamas Travel Awards. If you fancy a stay here, the rooms are all dog friendly and well behaved dogs are welcome in most areas of the hotel. This is a delightful twist on the classic afternoon tea. The Mediterranean inspired flavours have all been carefully considered to really elevate the menu. The delicate but indulgent open sandwich of salmon on stout bread was bursting with flavour. It was hard to choose a favourite between that, the goat's cheese tartlet or the sweet potato falafel. They were all delicious. What could be more quintessentially bath than afternoon tea where you can bring your four-legged friend? Homewood is a dog-friendly hotel and your four-legged friend can dine with you on the patio or in the conservatory. The outdoor seating terrace has a wonderful view out onto the garden, inviting sofas, blankets, cascading greenery, glamorous chandeliers and a huge fireplace make for the perfect setting for relaxing outdoors with your dog. The real star of the show were the freshly baked warm scones served with a generous dollop of Dorset clotted cream and strawberry jam. <laughs> Make the appreciative face. Mm. Oh my mm. It's lemon meringue pie. Oh my god. The dainty pastries and cakes change seasonally and were not only rich in flavour, but also wonderfully light, making them the perfect conclusion to an indulgent tea. Once you've finished your delicious afternoon tea, there are 20 acres of grounds to explore. If you're in a larger party, you could book one of these decadent dining domes. The gardens are beautiful and occasionally a little bit quirky, and apparently there is a dog agility course somewhere in amongst those 20 acres. <laughs> well, we have just finished what, in our opinion, is one of the best afternoon teas we've ever had. The food was absolutely exquisite. And as we said earlier on, your dog is welcome on the terrace or in the conservatory. What a great way to spend an afternoon. Now let's switch gears and explore something completely different. If you're looking for something to do with your dog that combines history, art, culture and beautiful lush gardens, the American Museum and Gardens has to be on your list. The American Museum and Gardens just outside Bath is a fabulously dog-friendly place to come with your four-legged friend. The gardens are gorgeous and on daylight today it's beautiful to just have a stroll and soak it all up. The museum itself isn't dog-friendly but we do have a solution for that. The museum gardens are not only just beautiful, they're incredibly dog friendly. 
So whether you fancy a leisurely stroll, a picnic together, or relaxing under the shade of the trees, the gardens are the perfect spot to enjoy the wide collection of plants and flowers. Set over 125 acres, the garden is Grade 2 listed and represents a journey through the iconic movements in American landscape design. The gardens also make the most of their hilltop location with views over Limply Stoke Valley and the River Avon. There's plenty to explore here, a dell, an arboretum, an amphitheatre and even a children's garden. For the adventurous there's also a wilderness trail and parklands to explore. The gardens were extensively renovated in 2018 to create a series of American-themed gardens. In the gardens you'll discover a faithful recreation of George Washington's upper garden from his Mount Vernon estate in Virginia circa 1799. The Mount Vernon garden showcases ornamental plants, fruits and vegetables. The fleur-de-lis boxwood hedges symbolise the enduring friendship between America's first president and the Marquis de Lafayette. The American Museum and Gardens is open Tuesday to Sunday from mid-March to the end of December. Check the website for opening times and ticket prices. You can choose to purchase a ticket for the museum, exhibition and gardens, or just for the gardens. So you could either bring a picnic to enjoy in the grounds with your four-legged friend, or the American-style deli cafe is also dog-friendly, and there you can enjoy hot dogs, melts, sandwiches, salads, there's something for everything. We've gone for these delicious looking and smelling vegan franks and check out that view. Yum. Now, the museum is not dog friendly. But why not do what we're about to do, which is as one of us goes in to enjoy the exhibits, the other stays out and enjoys a lovely bit of cake. As the only Museum of America outside the US, the American Museum is housed in the impressive Grade 1 listed Claverton Manor and the collection spans over 12,000 objects. The museum's founders began their collecting journey in the 1950s, amassing much of what you see today and weaving stories spanning 2,000 years of American history. The museum is actively enhancing its displays and galleries to cultivate a more comprehensive and inclusive storytelling experience. Although we went into the museum separately, clearly neither of us can ever resist a dressing up box. The collection is showcased in a series of period rooms to create an idea of how American families would have lived. Displays include, and not necessarily shown in this order on screen, a sumptuous New Orleans bedroom from 1860, an 18th century tavern in rural Massachusetts called Conkeys, and a late 17th century Puritan home. One of our favourite displays was the collection of over 250 historic American quilts, Navajo and New Mexican textiles, showcasing the ancestry and the history of these pieces. The museum also houses a significant collection of folk art, including shop signs, paintings, carvings and sculptures. Inside the exhibition gallery, you'll find the gift shop, which is also dog friendly and sells unique American themed products and the temporary exhibition. 
when we visited, there was a super fun Lego exhibition with Lego versions of iconic American buildings, places and cityscapes. So whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, or just looking for a day of exploration, the American Museum and Gardens is definitely one for your list. We have come to what is clearly a destination eatery, Flourish, just 15 minutes outside of Bath and we are here for some delicious breakfast. Flourish is a wonderfully vibrant fusion of food and lifestyle with a positive planet-friendly ethos. In the restaurant, you'll not only find a great atmosphere, but a superb selection of freshly prepared meals for breakfast and lunch, and there's even pizza on the menu. We were there for a late breakfast and enjoyed shakshuka and brioche French toast with Biscoff sauce. And let me tell you, both were absolutely amazing. Oh, it's like a party in my mouth. The food hall is packed with deliciousness, including locally produced meats and cheeses, an outstanding patisserie and anything else your pantry could possibly need. We really enjoyed having a look around and there was so much that we could have bought. Dozer was a particular fan of the pet section. Boy. Once you're well fed, why not walk it off by strolling around the home and lifestyle shop? Take yourself some nice. Yes, he yeah. will, I'm sure. Dozer really wanted to spend all of his pocket money at the doggy pick and mix. What would you like? <laughs> okay. Don't know you can't have them now. <laughs> Um. Wow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what are these ones? Oh, yeah, cheesy bones. Cheesy bones? No, you can't have any. Nearly. <laughs> 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 If you've got a little more time, why not take the family for some pottery painting in the purpose-built studio and make your own colourful creations? Flourish also offer events and workshops, such as soy candles, stained glass and jewellery making, and artisan craft markets. <laughs> Often, dog friendly activities and things to do are all outdoors, but what's great about Flourish is that everything is undercover, so it's the perfect place to come on a wet and windy day to spend a few hours with your dog, come and enjoy something to eat, a cup of tea, a slice of cake in the cafe, spend a little while buying some delicious food in the shop, and then check out the lifestyle shop as well. It is a great place to come. 
If you have a dog who is a little more adventurous or has plenty of energy, here are some other great things that you could do near Bath. Explore Cheddar Gorge and caves where some of the attractions are dog friendly. Try paddle boarding in Bradford on Avon. Or lace up your walking boots for the six mile Bath skyline walk where you are guaranteed some stunning views of the city. Well, we hope you've enjoyed spending some dog-friendly time with us near Bath. And I hope it's given you some ideas if you visit with your dog. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>